In today's architecture, we're talking about microkernels. So microkernels have a core component system and they have some plugins which make it very easy for you to simply remove and swap these plugins and also extend them very easily. And let me show it to you. So there are two layers. One is the core layer, like I said, the other is the plugin layer. And when you look at this diagram, it'll become much clearer. So there's a core system which has all these domain components, which we see could be modules like, you know, order modules and your um, payments module, shipment module and all of those. So th those belong to the core system. And then you have some components. So you're just taking the modular monolith and you're extending it with the help of these plugin components. Plugins basically mean that they are smaller programs that are probably in different languages and you can easily plug them in. And then you can also swap them very easily. And when you look at it in a different diagram, you'll understand that this was your microkernel architecture. And now you can also have a notification plugin. So if you want to use a different technology for notifications, you could do that. For uh, trading, you could have a different plugin. You can have market history in a different plugin and strategy uh, persister you can have. So you can have all these different plugins for different type of functionalities, which you don't want your uh, core system to have. So your core system. Uh, now, now, a lot of companies do this because um, let me tell you the, from the operation side of things. Let's say you're building a startup right now and you have your core team and there are some, um, some functionalities in your product that you don't want to outsource at all and you want only your core team to work on it. Let's say if you're building a CRM, so you don't want to uh, outsource the building of your, let's say, the place where you store contacts, the place where you store the leads, the, the complete sequences, all of that. You don't want to outsource that. So you will keep all of the system with your team. And all these plugin components, like let's say uh, the ability to send emails automatically, the ability to uh, integrate with other platforms. So all of these plugin components, you will get them built by another external company. That's what you'll do. And this makes it very secure, very scalable, because then if there's something wrong here, you can easily replace it and you can easily upgrade these as well. And this, the complete responsibility belongs to your team. So from an operational standpoint, from a scalability standpoint, uh, all of, uh, from all standpoints and perspectives, it's it's way better than microkernel, uh, way, way better than um, just a modular monolith. And this is basically the next logical step of a modular monolith. And you get a microkernel where you have the core uh, with, with different modules and then you have these different plugins as well which kind of extend the functionalities.